Hello everyone, right here I have a 2016 Proton Iris 1.3 Executive. And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key. Let's go ahead and start it up first. Press the unlock button once to unlock the driver's door and press it a second time to unlock the rest of the car. There are welcome lights as you unlock the car. An electric rack and pinion power steering system is what the Iris uses. The steering wheel for the executive trim comes with sport grips at 10 and 2. Two transmissions are available with the Iris. The choice is between a 5-speed manual or this car's continuously variable transmission. Also known as a CVT in short, this transmission does not have a fixed set of gear ratios. A continuous range of gear ratios is present instead. CVT aims to give drivers better fuel consumption and a smoother drive when compared to a regular automatic transmission. This transmission features a low gear mode as well. The Iris 1.3 comes with rear parking sensors as standard. Safety features for the 2016 Iris include two airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force, distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, hill hold assist, dead locking, an alarm system, and an immobilizer. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two rear seats. The 1.3 liter Iris comes with a set of 14-inch six-spoke alloy rims wrapped in 1765R14 tires. The brakes are ventilated discs in front and drums out back. The suspension is made up of McPherson struts and a torsion beam setup, front and rear respectively. Proton's current entry into the B-segment Super Mini hatchback market is the Iris. It was first introduced in September 2014 as a spiritual successor to the A-segment Proton Savvy. Unlike the Proton developed by Renault powered Savvy, and to a further extent, the Citroen AX-based Proton Tiara, the Iris is a local affair, with everything from the exterior to the interior down to the engine developed by Proton. The Iris is the hatchback counterpart to the second generation Proton Persona Saloon. Since its launch, there has been several revisions to the Iris, a product update in June 2017, a facelift in April 2019, and a second facelift in August 2021. Apart from the regular variants, there were also a handful of special edition Iris models. The current Iris lineup comprises three variants, 1.3 standard CVT, 1.6 executive CVT, and 1.6 active CVT. Under the bonnet of this Iris is Proton's S4PE, 1.3 liter, dual of 8 cams, 16 valves, naturally aspirated inline 4 petrol engine. This engine is equipped with variable valve timing and multipoint fuel injection. It produces 94 horsepower at 5,750 rpm and 120 newton meters of torque at 4,000 rpm. 0 to 100 km power takes 13.1 seconds on the top speed of 160 km per hour. The fuel tank measures 40 liters and the Iris is a front wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the Iris 1.3 Executive include halogen projector headlights, LED rear lights, indicators on the side mirrors, body colored door handles and side mirrors, a body kit, a rear spoiler, and a single exhaust pipe.
speaker, bottle holder, storage, mirror controls, window controls. All of the windows in this car are powered, while the driver's side is the only side that gets an automatic down function. Window lock. Storage. Pull this lever to pop open the fuel door. And the driver's seat in this iRace executive does get full manual adjustments. The receiver controls the seat back. The receiver controls the seat height. While this bar down here controls the seat position. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how it revs. Very simple manual air conditioning controls, fan speed, recirculation, different modes, front and rear defrost, temperature, air conditioning, storage, more storage down here, right down here as well, you have a power outlet, together with your auxiliary and USB ports, traction control, Electronic central locking. The Iris 1.3 Executive comes with an integrated head unit with various media connectivity options and four speakers for the sound system. The stock sound system that the Iris uses is actually quite decent. It is a fairly simple head unit to use. Eject button for the CD player which is located right here. Display, your sound processing button, Bluetooth telephone controls. 6 preset buttons, your power button together with your volume knob, seek track, you have your up down left right controls for the menu system, and speaking of the menu system, you access it via this button. Traffic announcements, repeat, um, random, if you want to select your desired media option, you press this button, FM AM, and auxiliary. Front quarter windows, wiper controls. If you locate the button at the end of the wiper stalk, you can go through the multi information display located within the instrument cluster. Right now, trip A, trip B, trip C, average speed and average fuel consumption, instant fuel consumption, range, elapsed time, service indicator brightness, and back to trip A. Light and indicator controls.
The steering wheel in this car is tilt only. You adjust it using this lever right here. Cup holders, storage, another cup holder right here, and you have a couple of USB ports for charging right here. Manual dimming, rear view mirror, front reading lights and interior light, and the driver's side sun visor does get a vanity mirror. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Window control, bottle holder, speaker, and the rear seat bags in this iris do fold. They split 60 40 when folding, and to fold them down, first make sure the headrests are all the way down. Then locate the buttons on either sides of the outer two rear headrests. The one on that side folds down the left seat, while the one on this side folds down the right seat and the middle seat. Just push it and flip the seat bags down. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is quite a lot of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually fairly nice and spacious back here. The seats are comfortable. There are cutouts on the front seat backs that help with additional leg room. Right above, for both sides at the back are grip handles. To open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself and locate a touchpad right down here. Boot space in the Iris is 215 litres with all the seats in place. As mentioned earlier, the rear seat bags can be folded down. This, along with removing the cargo cover, will provide a larger boot space. To the left of the boot is a light. Under the boot floor is the vehicle's tow kit, spare tyre, warning triangle, and first aid kit. The rear doors in the iris do open quite wide and an almost 90 degree angle which does aid entry into and exit from the rear seats.
adjustable headrests front and rear. Window control, speaker, bottle holder, storage. And the front passenger seat in this car does get full manual adjustments as well. With the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, just that this side loses out on the height adjustment. Nicely sized glove box. Grip handle for the front passenger. And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2016 Proton Iris 1.3 Executive. Thanks for watching and goodbye.